Visioneers, Neon here, and welcome back to another Feral video. So whenever I record a Feral video, one of the most frequent questions I get asked is, Neon, how do you make your Feral game so smooth and not laggy? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my settings in the game right now. As you can see, I'm running on highest quality, there's my resolution, and I'm also in full screen. So these are the highest settings you can have in Feral at this time, and as you can see, it is running pretty much lag free. Sometimes I do experience a little bit of lag when I'm loading into new areas or there's a lot of players online, but it's very small and minuscule and it doesn't really bother me for too, too long. Now I'm going to start this video with addressing how my PC is a custom built gaming PC. So my computer is built to run games like this. My computer currently has a GeForce 1060 graphics card and it has 24 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you don't know what any of the words I just said mean, that is okay, it's fine. I'll walk you through the process. Now, since Feral is in closed beta, Wildworks really doesn't know the exact specs that your computer needs in order to run Feral well. That's sort of what the beta is for. It's to test and see what exact specs one needs in order to play Feral smoothly. Now, if you're loading Feral in your PC or Mac and you're experiencing lots of lag off the bat, that is okay because there are a couple methods that you can do to help make your experience a little less laggy. Now, of course, once you first get in, I would definitely suggest pressing the escape key on your keyboard or pressing the little settings bar up there and then going to this little display tab and then you can mess around with these graphical displays. If your computer is super duper laggy, I would suggest, oh wait, there's Epic? I haven't tried Epic quality and we're still lag free. I didn't even know there was e Epic is a thing and I'm still lag free, wow. So yeah, there are apparently four different kinds of quality levels. There's Epic, which is the highest, high, which is the second highest, medium, which is medium, and low. So if your game is running super duper laggy, you can always go with the low settings. As you can see, the game definitely does look a little bit different, but it'll run pretty much lag free for the most part. Now, if you're still experiencing, I'm gonna go back to Epic. If you're still experiencing lag, you can always change the resolution and the display. I heard that if you change from full screen to windowed, it helps with lag a lot because it's not taking up your entire screen. So that's another thing you can definitely try. Now this next and final tactic that I'm going to talk about is probably the most advanced. You're gonna need to know a little bit of knowledge in computers. Not really, because I'm gonna walk you through the process, but it definitely is a little bit more complicated and it doesn't really have to do with in-game stuff. So I mentioned this a little bit earlier, RAM. Random access memory is the amount of memory that your computer can take up while running a certain process. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my task manager. Head on over to performance. You can see a couple little stats here. You can go to memory and you can see how much memory is being used. As mentioned prior, I do have 24 gigabytes of memory. So I have a pretty hefty amount of RAM I can use. Feral seems to be taking up about six gigabytes of memory, and this is with the Epic graphical standards. However, if your game is running slow, there is a way that you can allocate your computer to use more RAM dedicated towards Feral. Now, if you do this, if you have any other applications open while Feral is open, it'll make those run slower because you're allowing your computer to use more RAM and dedicate it directly towards the application of Feral. But if this is something that interests you and your computer is really struggling when it comes to running Feral at decent enough speeds, you can go ahead and try this tactic. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the window version. As you can see, Feral is now a smaller window and I can see my taskbar at the bottom of my screen. By the way, this tutorial is for Windows users. I'm not sure if Mac users can do this. So anyways, what you're going to want to do is go to your taskbar down here and right click. Amongst all these different tabs and windows, you're going to want to go to Task Manager. Now once you're in Task Manager, you're going to want to make sure that you're on this Processes tab up here. Also, you want to make sure that you already have Feral open and ready to go. You're logged in and you're in game. Next, scroll down until you can find Feral on your list. All right, so now that I've been able to locate the application, it is called feral.exe. So if you're sure that you have the right application, go ahead and right click it once more. After right clicking it, you should go ahead and go down to go to details. 
This will take you to a separate tab called Details. From here, you can right-click feral.exe once more and go down here to Set Priority. Now, this is where you can select how much RAM you want your computer to locate for this specific application. This is how a lot of people make their Minecraft run faster. You can do the same method for Minecraft. Now, right now, I have it set to Normal because that's really all I need, but I can go up to Above Normal or High. Now once I do this, I'll change the priority and the effects will take place immediately. But it should definitely be making my feral run a lot faster. Before, I was lag free, so it's hard to see a real difference. I did this back when I wanted to edit with After Effects. I located more RAM for my After Effects application and it definitely made it run a lot smoother. So yeah, definitely go ahead and try this tactic. Let me know if it works for you guys. I hope it does because I heard that a lot of people were experiencing lag and it was making it unable for them to play effectively so go ahead try it out let me know if it works and uh yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this quick little video just a quick little tutorial on how to make your feral game run pretty much lag free thank you for watching and of course i will see you guys in the next video